Hi everybody, Lori here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a fun, colorful, floral project to share with you. It's actually a shaker. And we got a lot going on, a lot of ink blending. We got a shaker, we're foiling, and we're featuring the Mixed Blooms stencil set. This also has a Mixed Blooms coordinating background cling. You can use the two, the two together or you can use the two individually. I'm gonna be featuring just the stencil set on my project. So I have a panel of hammer mill cardstock in my Misty, and that's how I've been really enjoying doing the stencils as of late. It's just so easy to always butt them down into the bottom right corner of the Misty, and you know you're gonna get that right placement. You don't have to shimmy and slide the stencil around. To, you just lock it in. And I like that when there's multiple stencils in a set. Okay, so I use a ton of different colors. They're all Pink Fresh Studio inks. Uh, you can see my lids there, but I'll have everything linked below, all the colors and all the products that I use in this video. Okay, so again, like I said, I started with Sparkling Rose, did a little Clementine. Now I'm doing a few of the blooms in Passion Fruit and Lemon Whip. Basically, I just try to pack in as much warm, fuzzy color as I can. And this mixed blooms design is a whole entire background of florals. So you it can get very busy, but you can tone it down if you make all the florals the same color. You don't have to use so many different colors like I do here. You can and you can customize the color for a different feel. Now to get into some of the little smaller areas. Uh, I pulled out one of these little mini detail blendy brushes. These are new by Pink Fresh Studio. They haven't released yet, but they are going to be released any day now. And I've been testing them out. And I gotta say, they're pretty handy when you need to get in small areas. Uh, other than that, I'm using a variety of blender brushes. I have these small detail blender brushes by Simon's Stamp that I'm using as well. And then sometimes I just use a regular, you know, bigger size brush. It's just, you kind of just, you know, you do what you got to do. Okay, what do we got here? I decided to do something a little different. I got sky blue and soft lilac, mixing in some blues and purples in this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm on stencil two or stencil three. I lost track, but I think there's five stencils in the pack. And of course, you don't have to use all five too, where you can just... Uh, you know, use one and two, whatever toots your flute. But, and another thing that you could do if you want to do the coordinating background cling with it would be really pretty if you emboss that design from the cling in maybe gold or silver and then use the stencil to fill in the colors. That would be really beautiful as well. Okay, moving along now, this, I believe this is stencil four and you're really just adding detail to the already blended blooms. So I do the same color that I use below. So if it's a passion fruit bloom, I use passion fruit again, but I just go a little heavier handed to add that extra detail. And then you have that raspberry bliss. That is just such a poppy color. I don't know, but I mean, you know, I've always said this too, the Pink Fresh Studio colors, they are such beautiful ink colors and they work so well together. They have a great, happy feel. I mean, I feel like Pink Fresh as a whole has this whole aesthetic. It's like easy breezy, but the ink colors are just really great colors. Okay, so what do we got here now? We have mint and ocean breeze. Like I said, I used a ton of colors. You certainly don't have to use so many, but I just, you know, I got in the zone and I'm just pulling them out left and right is what I am. So sometimes I've been shaking it up ever since I saw, now see, I've been calling her delay forever, but now I think it's actually delay. You know who I'm talking about? Delay, one of my favorite card makers. She's so, so good. And um, she's the one who inspired me by looking at what she did. She does leaves in the most unique colors. Like she'll do a blue leaf. And, and that's that's when I started trying some mint, some meadow, some aquamarine for leaves. It just kind of opened up a whole new world. And I'm here for it. So thank you. Thank you very much, July. Okay, so there you have that blended background. Now for a sentiment, I'm using the Lots of Love hot foil plate along with the coordinating die. And I'm gonna be using this, I believe, how do you pronounce this? I think it's Aura. See, that's how my name is spelled with an L, Laura. <laughs> so we think it's Aura, am I right? Could be wrong. Okay, little Aura on some hammer mill cardstock, 
put down that lots of love hot foil plate. I tape it down with some easy C tape, flip it over, and then just let it cook. Just let it get nice and hot and toasty. Sit there for a while. I let it sit for about a minute. And then you take it through your die cutting machine and you just you just let the cards fall. Sometimes it works. And I'll tell you what, sometimes it just doesn't work. But when it does, knocks your socks right off. And then I'm going to take that coordinating die and cut out the sentiment. Take that off camera, run it through my die cutting machine. Now here's where she gets spicy, okay? Uh, you know, it could be controversial die cutting this beautiful floral blended background. But you know what? If you want to get spicy in life, you got to take chances. So I took one of the nested rectangle dies and I die cut it right into the center of that blended panel. I'm going to back it the outer frame with um, some score tape and then I'm going to slap on some uh, acetate to make a shaker window. So this kind of like gives your blended background a little more interest, a little dimension, some positive, some negative, and you've got the shaker action going in there so it's interactive. Uh, so put a little acetate on the back and then some foam adhesive strips. These are, I believe, by Waffle Flower Crafts. I've been using these like they're going out of style. I'm going to need a lifetime supply of foam adhesive strips. I'll tell you that much. No, now what I want to do is I want to place that inner blended panel right in the center to make sure it lines up perfectly with the outer frame. So I just kind of eyeballed that there, slapped it down on a white card base with some tape runner. Now for the shaker filler, I'm using my jewels mix by Pink Fresh Studio. And I just cho chose a few jewels, sprinkled in a few that had coordinating colors with the blended background. So it doesn't really compete, but it gives you that little bit of jewel shimmer, shake and shine. And then, of course, I put a little foam tape on the back of my foiled Lots of Love Sentiment. And there you have a fun, floral, blended, colorful shaker project. What do you think? Do you love it? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sending you lots of colorful love today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.